So how do they truly feel about you right now? We have the hanged man. The two of swords. The ten of cups. And the hermit. It's interesting because this is often like not being able to see clearly or refusing to see, but it's surrounded by cards that are both very powerfully about introspection. So this person, I feel they are going very deeply inwards. They are contemplating this connection, connecting with you energetically, um, feeling their intuition, feeling their way through um, to the light, to the love uncovering a lot of shadow, a lot of wounds, being able to see wounds more clearly. Um, this is fifth dimensional thinking, okay? Seeing the truth beyond all of the illusions and deceptions of this world. Seeing, beginning to really see beyond negative self-talk, ne negative self-image. What is this two of swords exactly? We have the Seven of Cups. So sometimes your person can feel a little bit uncertain. There is this sense of them trying to find answers, trying to find the truth. So they're feeling kind of unstable a little bit about um, this connection, about their path forward. This is a huge divine shake-up. This is a metamorphosis out of the false matrix, the false self into the true self, the remembering of their soul, that their remembering of this Ten of Cups, that you are one, that the truth is love beneath all of things. This is that deep emotional fulfillment, soul level fulfillment. They are with you on the higher dimensions. This is you, your person, and all of your soul family surrounding you. They are really there. They're really experiencing this. But Seven of Cups, it's about things up in the air. And your person has some sort of anxiety about this. They're diving very deeply within. They're thinking a lot, but they're feeling uncertainty. So they may not know what action to take. Let's dive deeper. Knight of Pentacles. This is slowly but surely a transition, okay, into light into self-confidence this is movement um, but it's a slow movement okay um, but it's planting a lot of positivity this is someone who's very serious they feel very seriously about you this is someone who's very dedicated and it's something about their mindset is transformed to be much more optimistic, to be aligned with love and truth. And this is what is planting all of these positive seeds within their own being. So again, confident self-esteem, feeling much more reassured so that they can progress forward. The four beneath this ten of cups here. Yeah, this person... They are working towards releasing a lot of their wounds, a lot of their baggage. This is a very private experience with the Two of Swords. With people around them, it's like no entry because they're, they're needing to go inwards. I feel like your person's been very guarded in their life in general because they're very deep with the Hermit and the Hanged Man, but they feel like Others couldn't really reach them on those levels. Others couldn't really understand or align with them. So they felt, they have felt very lonely. Their heart and soul was leaping for joy, jumping for joy. Um, having met you because you really reach each other and align on those deep soul levels. And it's absolutely blissful. They know you are soul family, twin flames, powerful soulmates. So... This is them releasing anything that's been holding them back from being their true self, expressing their true self. You are their biggest supporter of them thriving in who they really are. How do they feel about you? 
Ace of Wands. So they want to manifest um, a new beginning. They feel so much passion. They're becoming like the magician, that empowerment. Um, they feel a lot of desire. They're going inwards like they're drawn through this desire, through this magnetism to you, to to the higher dimensions. This is where you and your person really exist. This is where you know each other from. And it just fills them with so much passion and so much is being created from this, from this high vibration. These are the seeds that are being planted and manifesting, okay? Seven of Cups, it normally shows those cups up in the air. They're discerning, okay, because usually some of these are filled with negative things, some are positive. They're going inwards and having this discernment about what feels good in life and what doesn't. And they're releasing things that don't serve them, that don't feel good, that feel heavy in order to um, align more with love and bliss and be lighter. And um, this is what you represent to them, this joy, this freedom this immense love, and they just want more and more of this, okay? How else do they truly feel about you? Love letter. So written communication of feelings expressed in heartfelt truths, reaching out, missing you. So this person, they have this strong desire to communicate this immense love. They want to express their side of this this amazing experience this incredible journey so some of you um what is happening here this leap of faith is definitely to do with some sort of communication coming from their heart they i feel like they could be nervous about this this is what this hesitancy is about they're afraid of like your reaction, because like I said, some of these are filled with negative things, some are positive, it's up in the air. And so they've been shielding their heart somewhat, feeling vulnerable because of fears of rejection. How do they truly feel? Innocent, okay. So this is a powerful message. If your person's been holding back, there is an innocence about this person. They are discovering their true angelic nature. I feel like they're very much in the process of loving themselves because they've always... This person's a powerful empath, okay? This is someone that's deeply loving, kind, compassionate. But ironically, a lot of empaths have a lot of self-blame and judgment and thinking they're not good enough. And it's very ironic is what I'm hearing from spirit. So your person is in the process of really embracing who they truly are and releasing all these negative um, thoughts about themselves the negative self-talk they are pure their heart's in the right place childlike pure intentions they mean well you can trust them so they may have trust issues as well you know thinking worst case scenarios sometimes holding back somewhat um they've needed time to to for you to prove yourself you proved yourself to them it's like um you are being tested, but not not in a negative, manipulative way. Subconsciously, it's like they were needing time to be able to trust you because they've had a lot of wounds in their past. So mask, which is very interesting because the fall has all of this face paint on here. It says hiding, putting on a front, trying to impress you, insecurities, self-protection, so, yeah, your person is in the process of healing themselves, loving themselves and coming out from behind this mask. They could be a bit back and forth, um, but they're taking a leap of faith to be to be real with you, to be vulnerable, because they feel like they have to wear this mask pretty much with everyone else in their life or for the most part in their life. But with you, they're opening up. Could be through social media. It says spying on your social media, communicating online, stalking, obsession. So they're watching you online, looking at your photos, your updates. Let's look at some messages cards. I want to share my life with you. Wow, the Ten of Pentacles. So this is why this Knight of Pentacles is here. Then planting these seeds. They want to share their life with you. 
they want to ground like this connection more they want a stable connection you make them feel stable they want to make you feel stable as well look wow ten of cups now i want to be with you forever and we have the ten of cups already so this is a mutual feelings here mirrored energy so they love you so much um I'm scared. I'm too scared to face up to it. Seven of Swords. So that again, they've been hiding behind this mask for a while. But we do have the Fool here taking a leap of faith. Again, it could be back and forth. They could be communicating to you in a way that feels more comfortable, because they do have a lot of abandonment wounds that makes them fear abandonment. I'm much more secure in myself. Yeah, this is the progress that your person. Um, is achieving here becoming independent from the negative thoughts and anything that's holding them back so there's definitely this powerful progress forwards towards you some of you there could be an unexpected um, message or them reaching out so I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading we're going to start off with lots more messages cards from lots of different decks to see what does your person really need you to know right now about their true feelings what they're coming forward um, to communicate to you. We're also going to look at what is really going on, what is going to happen next, and lots of very detailed messages from Spirit are also going to come through. So the details for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comments. So I really hope to see you over there. If this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That all really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here and I hope to see you over on the extended.